My name's Andy Brown, Technical Marketing Director for DCDC Board Mount Power Products at Advanced Energy. Server and supercomputer systems are, are changing how they're doing their power conversion. Whereas once they were an AC-DC power supply with 12 volt output co-located with the equipment, now they have a 48 volt subsystem or a sub rack inside the cabinet which shares the 48 volts across many pieces of equipment in the cabinet. And that shared feed has profound e effect on the equipment. What does this change mean for the system equipment? With a change from the, the 12 volt co-located power supply in the equipment to a 48 volt feed which is shared, this has two implications. The first being that there can be no effect from one piece of equipment in the cabinet to any other piece of equipment. Now whether that's EMI or transient loads or anything like this, you cannot have a, um, an effect from one piece of equipment to another. The other is that the, um, the power conversion itself will need to go from 48 volts instead of 12. How do we convert 48 volts into the required voltages for CPUs, memory and other equipment electronics? There's two real valid design solutions to do that. One is what we call a two-stage conversion, which is 48 volt to 12 and then 12 volts to low voltages. And then the other approach is called a hybrid approach, which is very much like the two-stage, but we take some of that power away and convert it directly from 48 volts to low voltages. So they're the two predominant architectures that is used in power design at the moment within servers. So first we'll look at the, um, the two-stage approach. So this is where we take 48 volts to 12 and then 12 volts down to low voltages. This approach has been around for a long time, since the early 2000s, of having what we call a bus converter for the 12 volts and then the low voltage non-isolated conversion after that. So for the 48 volts to 12 volt converter, there are two main questions to address. One is to whether it's um, isolated or not, and one whether it's regulated or not. For the isolated, you can gain efficiency if you move to a, a non-isolated approach. It, it gains like 0.2. Um, with um, unregulated, you can also e effect a, an efficiency improvement. Um, but many designers are, are kind of staying with um, a regulated approach because that's required in their applications. At Advanced Energy, we have a range of products to address these challenges. Whether that's a quarter brick, um, BDQ 1300, or whether an eighth brick, ADO 500. These, um, these products are designed with efficiency in mind and they have a regulated output. Following that is the non-isolated converter that we have, um, our LGA classes of, of converter. These convert 12 volts to low voltages, non-isolated, that follow the bus converters. Advanced Energy are a power density leader in the market of this type of converter. And then we can turn to the hybrid approach where we have direct conversion in parallel to distributed power architectures for the two stage. So at Advanced Energy, we have our ADC 100 products. They convert 48 volts down to low voltages specifically for CPUs, GPUs and other devices in the equipment. Why is efficiency so important and how are you addressing this? Efficiency is the single biggest driver in our product development. It allows us to pack more power into the same size of product by reducing the dissipation from the product. Every watt of heat that's not dissipated from this means that you don't have to cool that heat. And when you've got a server system of me megawatts of power, that can soon add up to significant cost reduction in operating costs and also in air conditioning costs. Everything is about efficiency for these. 